Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got the Ultra Dino Force. Yeah, so what is the Ultra Dino Force? Uh, uh, this is Ultraman. Uh, there's a, an upcoming movie for or the, for Ultraman in the maybe a month, less than a month. Uh, it's gonna be a Netflix animated movie. Ultraman is sort of like a Power Ranger from the 60s, 70s in Japan. Highly popular. Uh, he fights alone. Giant monster, exactly like uh, Power Rangers, like giant monsters in the city. He's a guy wearing a power suit. He can shoot lasers from his elbow for some reason. I, I'm not a big fan of uh, Ultraman. I know him, but never really watched it. Uh, he can. Uh, he wears a power suit, becomes super strong, fight monsters, can uh, grow tall as buildings, and fight giant kaiju. And it's pretty much it. So this is the original uh, look that he had in the original series of Ultraman. Uh, the new animated movie looks more like a Iron suit, like Iron Man suit, kind of weird, weird a bit. But the story is about uh, uh, Ultraman being real old and passing on his power to his son. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now where do these come from? So the, I have no idea. Ultraman was always alone. Just the power suit was enough to deal with all the monsters. He was alone. He didn't have like uh, friends that had a piloted giant robot dinosaurs, kind of like Power Rangers or Transformers or whatever. It's odd. I checked the trailers. I, I tried to document myself if the movie is going to include these. No idea. Still, I, I haven't found anything. I don't even know where they come from. Just thought it were cool. So yeah, um, all of them come with a figure of Ultraman. It's hard plastic like really hard it won't bend it will snap right off if i force it uh nicely painted uh eyes blue whatever uh, it's not my forte uh he's not uh movable at all and they all come with the same figure so i've got like five hard plastic ultraman i have no idea what i'm going to do with they also come with cards. Now they all have the same cards. The first card is this one. This is the Ultraman poster for the movie. As you can see here, it comes out uh, on the January 18, 2019. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not a real big fan of Ultraman. I know about him, but yeah, the other side is the same thing. And they also come with this card, which seems to be a sort of QR code for a game. And yeah, if you turn it on the other side, we've got a QR code right here. This will take you to a game site where you can play some sort of uh, card battling game. I have no idea what it is. You can scan it, check it out for yourself. It's all in uh, Chinese or Japanese, I'm not too sure. Uh, the game uh, seems to be like a sort of Magic the Gathering card battling game. Not a fan of those either. A little bit uh, up, we see we can see the dino robots. Seriously, the game has lots of these dinos in the game, and there's also other robots like trucks and gr I don't know. There's lots of robots. I don't know if the game, the, the movie, the enemy movie, is going to include tons of robots, or they are relaunching the series with tons of robots. I don't know. It's just odd because Ultraman was always alone. So uh, anyway, and. Further up, we've got Ultraman, of course, and we've got here an image of the combined Dino Force robots. Now, this looks really awesome, and this is the image that sold me on this set, the combined mode. Unfortunately, this set does not combine. I tried, I looked, I could see a couple of odd things about some robots, some figures, couldn't at all transform into combined mode at all so eh, a little bit disappointed but still they're kind of cool figures so yeah like i said they all come with the same cards same thing so i've got a bunch of these so yeah whatever all right so all the figures are themselves uh power rangers looking uh, colored <laughs> And it's Power Rangers looking thing and kind of inspired by Transformer a whole lot. So, yeah, how about we start with the uh, yellow Velociraptor? Seriously, I have no idea what their name is. 
like I said, no instructions and the website I bought it from, SeerToys.com, didn't have really name. They just have like Ultra Dino Yellow, Ultra Dino Blue, and Ultra Dino Red, whatever. Yeah, alright, that's cool. But So we've got the Velociraptor here that kind of looks goofy. I mean, the legs, I couldn't do much. Like, I could do like sort of chicken leg like this. But then they don't bend too much forward, and then you have to flip the feet in. They, they kind of look odd. So, um, yeah, it's not the best. I couldn't, like, make it look really good, so. This, so, uh, whatever. Kind of look weird. It's not the weakest link either so we do have race rotation the legs are articulated like on a ball joint and swivel so it just move up and down we have a ball joint here at the knee uh, we do have a swivel ball joint at the uh, ankles we do have the arms that are on shoulder rotation ball joints so it kind of moves here and a um, hinge right here the mouth does open and close the head does move we do have a uh, neck Swivel, but it only goes on one side because it's the shoulder for the arm and the tail is pretty much the same thing it goes up down only one side you have this right here which I'm not too sure if it goes downward or upward oh yeah we've got the velociraptor it's kind of big uh, for comparison maybe I could use the other raptors from the movie uh, transformers doesn't look too apparent, uh, too, too good together, maybe with the uh, Spinosaurus. Looks a little bit better, a little bit, because it's basically the same transformation as this one, almost, to a simplified point, so, put this aside, uh, uh, yeah, so the Spinosaurus, uh, deluxe size, of course, kind of transformed pretty much with uh, like this one, so, Alright, so let's move this one aside. Alright, transformation for this one. So bring the leg straight up and snap the joint at the knee. Like this. Close the feet, uh, the uh, the toes, and make sure the pointy shoe is on front. So, oops. Ball joints, not a big deal. A really big uh, ball joint though. So Snap it on. Close the... Dino toes. Even though the dino toes will give you more stability, you have to close them. They, they still stand. Uh, the crotch piece goes down here. This flips on the side like this. This arm goes down. You can flip the wrist out. Now if you want, this is a shield blade. So it's his weapon. He does actually have storage. Nothing articulated about it. It's just paint. That's it. If you want to remove it, you can flip this up. It's gonna give like more clearance to this, and you can hold the shield in his hand if you want to. It's real tight, but yeah, it's supposed to go on the forearm. So let's let's get this. All right. Uh, next up, you want to pull this out. It's part forming. Yep, revealing the head like this. Really nice head. Come to the back. Flip this whole thing back like this. Close the arms in like this. And move it down a little bit. Like this. And now you come with uh, the backpack and there's a square right here that you need to plug it in the back of the neck. That's it. This will need to be straight up. And it's pretty much it. As for the final, the hand, you can just pull the mouth, Oop. not really pull it out of the hinge, but all right, you just pull the mouth, ah, still snap off. All right, it's cool now. You just slide the mouth back like this, open up the wrist, which is really tight, of course it is gonna have anything easy all right so you just close this and it's pretty much it 
So now you have a yellow Dino Force robot done. <laughs> and robot, he looks nice. You do have nice articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so it does pivot. The backpack uh, kind of is a little bit loose. Uh, we do have, uh, again, the legs of the same thing as the dyno. We do have a swivel at the arm like this, a swivel here, swivel there, swivel there, and the uh, fist goes here like this. I think there's another swivel at the hand right here. The other one is pretty much the same thing, still goes like this. And yeah, like this, like this. So, yeah, yellow robot. So. Yeah, let's move this one aside. Oink. All right, next up, let's do the Neranodon. Uh, so the flying one, like this one looks a lot like uh, Swoop, or was it Straff from the movie Transformers? A lot, Look, just look at the head. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this one's pretty much the weakest link to me. Uh, the arms are very floppy. They're supposed to be uh, like this in the robot and, and robot mode. The hand doesn't peg anywhere. The leg doesn't peg anywhere. It's a loose festival. So yeah, we do have a nice tail. Uh, three joints. Hard plastic, unlike the Transformers one that is uh, uh, and rubber. In fact, uh, let's move this one here. Let's bring in Swoop, or was it Strafe? from the movie. So this one has two heads and it always bothered me that they went with the two-headed uh, bird. Because usually the Transformer goes with based on real scan thing and this one has two heads and there never was a two-headed bird in history so whatever I'm asking too much question. And the double rubber tail that I hated. So yeah even the tail looks alike with a triangle thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's bring this out. Uh. So yeah, uh, we do have ball joints at the feet. Uh, we do have the knee bend, the leg. The legs are really weird. The wings does flap. We do have rotation here, rotation there. And the head does move up and down. And uh, side to side a little bit. So yeah, the the hands really bothers me I, as they just goes on the back like this. They don't peg in anywhere at all. Just like the legs that are super loose. Yeah, it's not the best figure. So let's close the wings. And how like this, whatever. Just straighten up the legs. Like this. You can, like, the legs are weird. We can swivel them out like this. We do swivel them out like this. It's kind of loose. Anyway, feet close the claws. Flip this all the way around, all the way around. The arms will just bring them front like this. They're supposed to go. Yeah, like this. Bring the uh, hands down, bring the tails can. Flop around, I guess. Ooh. Bring the arm straight. Arm straight. All right, and then you split the head and reveal the robot head, which is nice. And you also have to close these in exactly like the transformer swoop. So the robot looks nice. But, you know, the execution, like you can see, he just wants to topple. He's back heavy because of the wings. The tail can help stability a little bit, but not that much, you know. So here we have uh, Ultra Dino Force Blue, which is uh, a uh, heavily inspired <laughs> strafe or um, swoop. We do have his weapon right here. No storage in robot mode. Disappointing, but yeah, we do have his Taurus, his pistol right here. More like a rifle, uh, nicely painted. We do have uh, uh, 
can separate in two parts for two pistols or one big rifle. So yeah, you can obviously give him his hand like this. The handle in the front should be the one where you hold it, but it's much wider so it doesn't really fit. And you can hold it two hands. So yeah, swoop. <laughs> Blue is all come all robot up, and yeah, lots of nice paint on the wings, the knees, uh, the chest, even the head. I can show the head a little bit. Head looks nice, kind of big forehead, but yeah. All right, with this on the back. <sighs> all right, let's go with the uh, the white wing. The white is really odd. He is, as you can see, heavily inspired by the Transformer uh, counterpart. Forgot his name. I don't even have it in my collection. For some reason, I just uh, sort of never bought it. Never found it in stores. So, yeah. He's the weirdest one. I'll show it to you. So, we do have storage right here for the tail. This is his sword. Uh, it looks really cool. I really love it. Nice uh, purple paint. The purple metallic paint. Looks really nice. Let's move this aside. And this right here, I really thought this was the tail. Like, there's absolutely no way. This is as far as it can go. I really thought, like, the tail could flip around and go. No. It opens up. For some reason, but there's absolutely no clearance for it to stay open whatsoever or be placed open. I thought they wanted to go the same way as the original Transformer one, where the tail sort of like does spiky wings on his back, but it doesn't happen. So, yeah, uh, legs are on um, uh, swivel right here, uh, ball joint here, swivel at the uh, feet right here, uh, nothing at the toes. Uh, we do have a uh, swivel at the waist, pretty much. The arms are uh, bendy like this, or if you go like this. Uh, the fist is on swivel like this. We do have the spines that are odd. And the head just sticks out in the back. Not the best figure either. A little bit better in this one, because at least this one is solid. More or so. But, yeah. Uh, like I said, I don't have the original Transformers, so I'm not going to be doing the uh, comparison size, but uh, yeah, let's check out the transformation here. So first up, bring the legs like this, and there is a peg hole on the side right here that goes right here. So peg it in, and bring the legs. You can bring them up or down. I like down. So plug this in, and flip it down. Flip these up, unpick uh, the legs, bring the head up and hop like this. So now you have the legs all done. Flip the waist all the way around and just bring the arms down. The fist uh, goes like this, just flip the paws out and you're pretty much done. You have these things right here that are really bothersome. You can flip them down, but then they hinder the tail. The tail can swivel. It goes like this and opens up, but like I said, when you open the, these up, these are sort of uh, in the way. There's not really anything you can do with this. Uh, no. Maybe, oh, maybe, <sighs> just, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not the best. Oop. Yeah, these can pop off, and this too. Boink. And let's plug this back in, all right. Yeah, this doesn't go anywhere. So, yeah, you can open up the tail. Doesn't do anything. Then bring it down like this. Uh, it looks clean, but then you have these. These does have like 
handles that you can hold. Don't know what it does, but it does something, I guess. So let's close these back and plug these back in. One, where's your right? All right, here. Ooh. I just threw myself the figurine. So yeah, we've got the white, uh, what was it, Stegosaurs. And yeah, where's his sword? His sword's right here. Uh, of course, I just kick him back. So a giant nice sword. Joint. So not my favorite of the lot either. Uh, do have ball joint at the head, uh, ball joint at the elbows. We do have a swivel in the arms and a swivel like this. Do have the wrist swivel. We do have another one for the waist, and the waist is sort of also has some ab crunch. So it's kind of like a ball joint too. The leg does the split, does move back, forth. The knee bends with a small ratchet. And the foot is pretty much like this, just the toes, so... Mm. So we've got white right here. And yeah, it, it kind of looks like he's like hunched up. Because if I just move it back, the, the head pops out uh, really easily for some reason. But yeah. Alright, so we've got white. Done. Point. Uh, all right, uh, so next up, the Triceratops. He's pretty much my favorite of the lot. Uh, the uh, robot, the uh, Dinobot mode looks really cool. Kind of like a beefed, beefed up uh, uh, Triceratops. We do have some sort of Ankylosaurus tails for some reason, because <laughs> why not? It's cool. I like it. Uh, the legs does pivot like this. Uh, don't move the uh, tie because the tie are uh, uh, plugged in on these sides. So if you move the tie like this, it sort of uh, puts some stress in. So the leg does move like this and the feet like this. Same thing right here. Again, uh, shoulders are plugged inside of the chest, uh, the uh, uh, ribs. So be careful with this. Uh, no swivel, just goes move front and back, and the fist is hidden here for stability. Uh, the mouth does open and close. It's a little bit loose, but it holds. So it's pretty much it. Again, no uh, storage for his weapon in Dinobot mode, so yeah. And for a quick size comparison, here's him with the uh, Triceratops from uh, the movie Transformers. Again, this is a deluxe size, so they're pretty much Voyager scale even larger but yeah that's pretty much it yoink put this aside so for transformation uh, even though this is my favorite he has parts forming that you have to remove the hand and it's really disappointing next up you want to open up these so we just pull it out here and plug it off from the thigh right here Pluck like this and close the wings like this. You want to straighten up the legs, flip in, uh, flip the legs around like this, and as you can see, pretty much done. Just flip the toes, and you have to rotate the arms. Uh, no, just goes like this. All right, doesn't rotate. No swivel the uh, arms. The tail you can, uh, you know, flip it up. I like to leave it down. But yeah, this one is my favorite. He looks really bulky. It looks like a football guy. You know? <laughs> it's really nice. We do have his weapon. A sort of fist sort of just slides on the fist. Uh, like this. So he's got a giant hitting fist. <laughs> And as for the uh, head, there is a peg in it that is sort of crooked. Sort of the peg is not even right, uh, perpendicular. So you just have to stick it in this fist. So right here, stick it in, and voila. So he's got a shield and giant fist. Really nice. Uh, the head is again on a ball joint. We do have a tail swivel that is endured by everything. 
uh, arms are on a swivel and swivel here. We do not have uh, a side to side swivel and the wrist does rotate That's pretty much it for the arms are quite limited. The legs uh, does the split like this, move a little bit front but it's hindered by everything again, goes in the back, ball joint at the knee, ball joint at the feet, so yeah, he's limited in the posability but still looks really nice. And the tail uh, does have one inch, two inch and another one that goes side to side, so yeah, green, done. And finally, what looks to be the leader of the gang, the Ultra Force Red, the Tyrannosaurus. So the Tyrannosaurus <laughs> kind of looks like a Chinese dog dragon head. The mouth does open and close. We do have the tiny, tiny arms and the giant, giant feet. Uh, here we do have articulation like pole joint of the leg. Uh, Doubles sw uh, swivel here, nothing much at the toes except for the back one. The legs or the tail does flip up, down, pretty much it. So, yeah, the T Rex is pretty much very small compared to the uh, movie studio series Grimlock. <laughs> Although the head is pretty much similar as size, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to show it off, so. <laughs> Transformation for uh, Dino Red. Pretty simple. Uh, first off, straighten up the tail. Uh, separate it. Flip the feet. Turn it around. Flip the feet. Turn it around. Straighten it up. And, alright. Next up, come to the uh, Dino leg. And you want to pull them out like this and flip them up. So, pull them out. Flip them up. All right. Uh, for the foot, I close the uh, nail and flip it around and just leave it like that. So flip the nail, flip it around and just close it as the fist comes out right here. Come to the back right here or the front. Move the jaw down. Separate the head, and you're pretty much done. Just flip the head around. And you can leave these on wherever you like. So some just put the fists up. And you're pretty much done with the red. Dino Force Red. So as you can see, very inspired again by Transformer with the uh, double dino head on the shoulders. But the rest is pretty futuristic, Gundam-esque robots. Still looks cool, uh, a nice head sculpt. The head does uh, swivel and move up and down. Swivel left to right. We do have some swivel here, swivel there. Uh, no swivel on the red side. We do have a swivel uh, right here. And the fist is uh, tight, but does move uh, swivel also. Uh, we do have waist rotation. We do have the well, this is as pretty much as far as it goes in split mode. You do have the leg goes uh, front, back, the knee bends a little bit. Not too much. We do have a swivel underneath the knee, and the feet just goes up and down like this. So, kind of limited. Also, still looks cool. We do have his weapon. Can you stand without uh, falling? We do have his weapon, uh, a giant sword. Nice paint details. It is, for some reason, articulated like this, it goes up like this, I don't know why. Let's put him in the fist, oops. Come on, go in, alright. So, yeah, we do have the Ultra Dino Force all done. And yeah, they look like a really nice bunch. I'm really disappointed they don't, um, Combined, but still, really nice set. Uh, I can uh, show off uh, the size comparison in robot mode now, so... So, quick uh, comparison with their robots Transformers counterpart. We've got Scorn, that looks... That transformed pretty much like the yellow one. 
I don't have the green one for him, so yeah. We have swoop or strafe right here again, very reminiscent with the uh, the the head on the chest. We got the triceratop right here, somewhat really different now. And we have the Grimlock, that is a uh, sort of oversized. <laughs> but again, with the dino on the shoulder, the dino head on the shoulders, that is very reminiscent with this one. So, yeah. So they, they are a really nice set. Uh, they they are very cheap. Uh, they sell for about ten dollars each. It's not uh, it's not a big deal. It's really not that big. But yeah, the they don't combine, even though the cards does show that they combine. They are somewhat well articulated. The plastic quality is great. Uh, I wouldn't recommend them because uh, I'd say they. I'm pretty sure there will be a new set coming up that will combine. So I, I'd say stick for waiting and yeah, wait for the combining one. Only maybe like if the combining one are really atrocious, bad quality and stuff and the combine mode really suck. These figures are quite all right. Except maybe this one has lots of uh, wobbly problem and this one maybe I would have loved to have the instructions to see <laughs> what the hell to do with these spikes and tails and whatnot. But yeah, still tiny, really fucking set maybe there will be a set that will just make these combine just have a add-on that plugs everything and come together would have been weird but and eh, we never know what uh what's coming up so yeah i'll try dining uh, dino force i picked those up at about ten dollars each on uh sirtoys.com if you want them go and pick it up if you're pleased with what you're seeing you're gonna like them they're like i said nice quality uh cool figure Nice transformation, easy, simple, and the robots are really nice, excessively well painted. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time.